In this video, I will show you how you can run the full Mate desktop in a Docker container on Windows. The Mate desktop is based on an older GNOME 2 version, but it's very fast and very lightweight, and that's why it's perfect for a Docker container. It's kind of similar like the XFCE desktop with a lot of menus, but in my opinion Mate looks more modern. This is not the first time that I'm running a full desktop environment inside a Docker container on Windows. For instance, if you're interested how to run the full Ubuntu Cinnamon desktop inside a Docker container on Windows, then you can check out my previous video, the link to the video is up there or down in the description. As always, I will first show you the Docker file, then we will build the Docker image from scratch and then we will run it and try it out. But before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links and docker files from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part if you want. As you can see my docker desktop is already running and here is a docker file, dockerfile.mate. Let's go through it. For the base image I'm using Ubuntu 23.04 but you can also use the LTS version 22.04. Then I'm installing two versions of the Mate desktop. The first one is the default Debian version of the Mate desktop and the second one is the Ubuntu Mate flavor. Maybe Ubuntu is more customized, better themed and has matching wallpapers, but overall they look more or less the same. We will try out both of those and first let's go with the default Debian Mate desktop. Let's remove the comments. Then I'm installing a few packages, XRDP and Tiger VNC server. So you will be able to connect to the container using VNC and RDP or even both at the same time and I will show you how this works in this video. Then I'm adding a new user by the name test user with the password 1234. And I'm also adding the user to the sudo group. Then I'm creating a script where I'm setting a few environment variables which are necessary for the Mate desktop otherwise the desktop will not work. And then I'm starting the Mate session. The name of the script is xstartup and I'm also giving it the execute permission. Then I'm setting up the VNC server to use the same password as the user and then I'm copying the previous script to where the xrdp and the VNC server can find it and execute it. xrdp will run as a service but the VNC server we need to start manually and I'm doing this with this script right here that I'm also writing to a file and giving it the execute permission. Then I'm exposing the port 3389 which is the default RDP port and 5902 which will be the VNC port. And finally I'm starting Dbus, systemd login D, xrdp and the VNC server. I'm also starting the bash shell just so the container stays in the loop if something goes wrong. And that's it, let's build this image, first save the file, then go to terminal, new terminal, make sure you're in the right folder and write docker build dash f the name of the docker file dash t then the name of the image i called it docker dash mate and a dot for the current folder let's build it enter perfect here is the image it has 2.09 gigabytes those images up here are from the previous video where i showed you how you can run the cinnamon desktop environment inside a docker container again the video link is down in the description i left those two images here so we can compare the image sizes because the Cinnamon desktop is also very lightweight. So if we look at the default Debian Cinnamon version, then we can see this one has 1.79 GB. So it looks like that this one from the previous video takes up about 15% less space than the default Debian Mate desktop right here. Let's give it a try, run, map the ports to localhost, 3389 and 5902. So here I'm mapping the container ports to the local host port so I can connect to the container through localhost and run. The container is running. First let's connect to it using RDP. So open remote desktop connection, localhost and connect. We trust. We are inside the container and this is the default XRDP login screen. So let's log in. Test user and the password. Okay. And here it is, the default Mate desktop running inside a Docker container. Let's see what we have. Menu. You have only the basic applications pre-installed. Let's try the file explorer. This one should actually have more features built in than Nautilus on GNOME. Like for instance, we should have a tree view by default. 
Nautilus introduced a tree view only recently, and this one had it like always. Let's see the terminal, Mate terminal, and let's install NeoFetch and run it. So we are using the WSL kernel version 5.10, which is expected since this is running on Windows. We are using the Yaru Mate Lite team, and we are running with about 2 gigs of RAM. This is honestly a bit more than I was expecting, but it is how it is. The Cinnamon desktop used about 1.7 gigabytes, just for comparison. Now since I'm connected using remote desktop connection or XRDP, I can close the session, and then if I connect again, and log in, we get the same session, the desktop as we left it. Now let's leave this one as it is, and let's try to connect using VNC. I'm using the tight VNC client, localhost 5902 is the port, and connect. Write the password. Now I'm connected using VNC, let's log in with the user. Now I'm logged in with the same user, but I have a different session. If I open for instance Mate Calculator, and move the VNC session to the left and the RDP session to the right. Then it's obvious that I'm using a different session for RDP and for VNC, although I'm logged in with the same user. So if those 2 GB seems a bit too high, remember that you're running two Mate sessions. Now this is all nice, but let's try to run the official Ubuntu Mate flavor. Let's close the sessions and stop the container. Back to the Docker file. And here, let's bring in the Ubuntu Mate flavor and comment out the previous one. Save it. And let's build the image. I will call this one docker-mate-ubuntu and enter build. Perfect. Here is the image and this one has 3.76 gigabytes, so a lot more than the default Mate desktop. So obviously this one has a lot more applications pre-installed. And the size is comparable with the Cinnamon Ubuntu flavor from the previous video. So I expect those two to be similar. Let's try it out. Run and map the ports. Container is running. Let's connect to it using RDP first. Remote desktop connection, localhost and connect. Again XRDP login screen. Let's log in. And here it is, the official Ubuntu Mate flavor running inside a Docker container. As you can see it looks similar as the default, but this one has definitely a better wallpaper. Let's see what we have. Here you have more applications pre-installed by default. Let's see the terminal first. NeoFetch. I'm actually surprised that NeoFetch is installed by default. So again we have the same WSL kernel, also the same theme, Yaru Mate Lite. And we are using about 2.2 GB of RAM. So about 200 MB more than the default Mate version. Let's see what else we have. We have the Mate Disk Usage Analyzer. Let's try it out. And scan. I love this one. In my opinion, every desktop environment should have a Disk Usage Analyzer by default. So you can visually see which files and folders take up the most space. Absolutely necessary. I could not live without a tool like that. Then what else we have? We have LibreOffice. Let's try LibreOffice Draw. Let's do some art. This one is really responsive. I'm a bit surprised. And works as it should. Now let's try to connect using VNC. Tight VNC, localhost and connect. Again the password. And now we are connected using VNC. And I don't know why, but I always get this problem detected message box. When I'm connecting using VNC to Ubuntu Mate in a container, I don't know what the problem is, so I will just cancel. And now we can use it as a normal desktop and everything should just work. Again we are logged in with the same user, but we have a different Mate session. So for instance, if I move the VNC window to the left and RDP to the right, it is obvious that the session is different, but the same user is logged in. If you like the videos I make and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. The Mate desktop is lightweight, it's fast and it also looks nice, but if I compare it with the Cinnamon desktop in the previous video, 
then I would rather use Cinnamon because in my opinion it looks better and also Mate desktop is based on GNOME 2 which is rather old. Although it is actively maintained, but I would rather stick with something that's more, I would say, future-proof. Like the official Ubuntu GNOME desktop, but instead of running it inside a Docker container, I would rather install and run it from a USB drive like I did in the previous video. So if you're interested how to install full Ubuntu on a persistent USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. That's all for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video then like and subscribe and if you really really like the video you also have a super thanks down there where you can buy me a coffee for instance so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.